All right, guys, thanks for watching. Andy here. I'm going to take you through the upgrades, show you some tips and tricks that we used along the way to do this. Uh, this was a nice upgrade. I might do a tutorial of this stage here. This is upgrade number one, and we made a good use of smokers and also lecterns to kind of provide a little bit of support for this uh, easy little bridge. And this kind of looped theme here used some dark oak stairs, blocks, slabs, and so on. Pretty easy with some addition of dark oak trapdoors. And I thought that looked pretty smart. I'm really happy with that upgrade. Yeah, I might do a tutorial on that upgrade. Um, this one here was a little bit more detailed, a bit higher, steeper sides, just a bit more stone brick uh, down the base, as well as some chiseled stone bricks as well for a bit of detail. And we even used some observer blocks here, kept the lecterns, and just raised up the platform here. We've also got obviously some campfires as well. Good thing about the campfires is you can kind of do things like that and just look, it looks like the bushes are kind of growing through the the canopy there, or the cover or the walkway cover. Kind of cool, so that's upgrade number two. Upgrade number three, we went a bit crazy and put in an aqueduct here. So sometimes the aqueducts in Roman times were at the top of a bridge. So we decided to put ours in the middle for sort of for, I don't know, no reason whatsoever but again steeper sides to the cliff here we've got our aqueduct and we've got our walkway up at the top here and th that was really the major changes in this one was to put in the aqueduct so that was upgrade number three upgrade number four obviously we added these huge towers in at the end i'm not super pleased with the towers i give myself maybe seven out of ten maybe six out of ten on the towers but it kind of completed the ends nicely of our bridge again we've got this walkway at the top here with the beautiful birch slabs and then down uh, in the middle we added this railway so we've got rail we've got water and we've got a walkway up at the top as well cool that was upgrade number four upgrade number five again slightly steeper and taller cliffs maybe just slightly one or two blocks um uh, we decided to go crazy <laughs> and add in a lot more detail with the foundations here and add in a lot more supporting structure. Certainly a lot more stone bricks been used, added in some uh, diorite up here, providing a little bit of a gap here, kind of a cool little gap here, kind of supporting our shops. That's right, we put in some stores up here. And if I take you in maybe at the side, you can see we've got some little stores. Maybe if I take you to the end one here, it might have some things in it. Um, well, maybe it doesn't actually. But yeah, these are little stores. Imagine walking along the bridge here and you could actually go shopping as well. And we've got no walkway up here yet at this stage. But we've got little stores and shops and there's also little attics as well up here. I haven't really divided them up. I should have subdivided them, but that could be where the person who owns the shop would live. And then from the front here, you can see we've got little doors and a balcony area as well plenty of lanterns and some good detailing in the roof and a little chimney as well which kind of disappears in the next upgrade so here's upgrade number six um we went for an upgrade to the stores really just providing this little area here we've got an, an upstairs area now so we took away the roof at the back in certain places and just made some upstairs rooms at the back there and then we also elongated the towers at the side here as well and put on maybe kind of a, a bigger tower here to provide maybe a more of a defensive structure here as well so pretty cool upgrade and then we went completely crazy for upgrade number seven by the way if you want to download all my upgrades plus all my kingdoms that i've been making over the last year check out my patreon patreon.com forward slash andy is your you could build with me in live streams i'm live every day 8 p.m on Twitch but earlier, maybe 4 p.m. at the weekends, all UK time. Yeah, download all my builds 2019 and 20 on Patreon. Join me on Discord, and you can also build with me in live streams. So yeah, upgrade number seven. Obviously, we've got these houses at the side, a big crane, maybe a kind of a road going along that way. We've got a nice barge built by Tronity. And big shout out to all the Patreons who helped me build this. Gibby, we had uh, JJ, we had Draconicus. Thank you so much, and Tronity helped to build as well we've got a little market down here little market we added in the middle and um, we've got some houses at the side we decided to use this beautiful concrete powder i hadn't used much concrete powder in the past but look how bright and colorful this i'm using steven's traditional texture pack and i'm using um i was in the video using bsl shaders but this is actually um this is actually Silder's Vibrant Shaders here. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> I really didn't notice that. And we've got a little walkway up here and a little stairs to come up to the top here. And um, we've got an upper walkway now as well, leading right through 
So we've got kind of a walkway up here maybe for the soldiers to help defend um, this whole bridge as well. So yeah, went a bit crazy, but had a lot of fun. What do you think? Leave some feedback in the comments down below and let me know what do you think we should be upgrading next in Minecraft. I love making upgrades. Seven stages, it is sure is hard work and original content like this does take a long time to produce. So it's with your support that I can continue. So hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, Leave some feedback and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this upgrade. Here's four more upgrades for you. Enjoy. Take care. Ciao, ciao with the blocks. Be with you.